Hi, I'm going to run through getting started with the Raspberry Pico Zero development board. Okay, so here is their website. So if we go to microcontrollers, we've got the Pico series microcontrollers. And this is the variant. So here's the data sheet. So I want to be using C. Getting started, install Visual Studio. Right, there we go. Right, dependencies. Okay, so Visual Studio failed to work properly with the Pico plugin on my machine, but that's okay, I got rid of that, and switched to the command line. And it's not that hard to get working on the command line because there are lots of examples in the repo to help you get started. So here in the examples, we've got all the different peripherals. And with each project, we've got CMake file. So here I've got a basic project, which is from the example. We've got a main function with some initialization taking place and then a main while loop where we merely turn an LED on, sleep, and then turn the LED off and sleep again. So the next thing is the CMake file. So as I mentioned, the Pico repo has lots of examples and we can simply copy from the CMake files in the examples to get started. So we've got add the executable, a declaration to create the extra outputs. We want the UF2 to use the UF2 bootloader. And then we pull in the target library of the Pico SDK. If we look in the main folder for the examples, we've got the uh, root CMake file and we've got the declarations of the version and the libraries used and we've got this function here, pico sdk init, which initializes the sdk. So next we need to build it. I've got a little helper script here. First of all, we're going to make build directory. Then we're going to cd into it. Then we're going to cmake. Then check the generated files. But lastly, we're going to call make. And now if I list the files, we have the blink uf2 file. I'm now going to plug in the Pico Zero device. And I'm going to hold down the boot button press the reset button and we will see the Pico Zero's UF2 bootloader get mounted on my computer. So now if I copy Blink UF2 to media we will then see this mounted drive disappear. And then we have the application code running with a blinking light. So once you've done a basic blinking LED project and you want to move on to more complicated things, you can go to the website. If you go to the C, C++ SDK, we have a link to API level documentation. And then here we've got all of our hardware APIs, explanation of all the functions, and how to use them. So in conclusion, the Pico Zero is a nicely packaged development board with a Cortex M0 MCU and the UF2 bootloader makes it very convenient to get working with since you don't need any specialist hardware to load an application.